Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. So today we've got an interesting little tool to have a look at. This is a mini cordless chainsaw. It runs off a uh, standard Makita battery. I paid £12 for this on eBay and I'm really interested to see what it's going to be like. Uh, if this is my first video you're watching of mine, uh, I've done the uh, chainsaw attachment for the angle grinder. And that worked really well. It wasn't the safest thing in the world, but it was pretty good and pretty handy to have. So I'm interested to see if this is going to be similar to that and what it's going to be like. So let's open it up. This one's going to be a lot smaller. This is about four inch, about a four inch bar for the chain to go around, I think. Let's have a look. I'm going to have to assemble it. Brilliant. What we've got, we've got instructions. We do. Are they going to be any good? Oh, they're not going to be brilliant. I'll leave that on screen there if you need to look at that at all. On the back. Oh, we've got some better ones here on the back. So we got remove the guide guard, install the chain guide. Pay attention to the installation pin, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so basically we've got this here. I'm going to put it together now. Uh, if you're not interested in me assembling this, because it might go on a little while, I'll put a little uh, time on the screen somewhere and you can skip ahead to that. But for now, let's have a look and see what we can make of this. So obviously our battery will go here at the bottom. There's our trigger. And this is everything else we need. Let's open this up. Looks like we've got a screwdriver in here, which is always handy. I like it when they send screwdrivers with stuff. The only problem is you end up with so many cheap little screwdrivers. So we've got that. We've got a little thing to do up some nuts. And here's the chain. Yeah, four inch, if you're interested there. There's our little bar. And that looks like a little guide. So how do we start? Remove the guide guard. So that's that one. Start by removing that. Oh, so standard little setup. We've got next. Install the chain guide, assume is that. Yeah. Install the chain guide and pay attention to the insertion pin. Okay. So assume we go, ah, uh, we can adapt, that's what that's for. Right, so we go on like that and then we can move it up and down on there. So let's get the chain out, let's have a look at this. Get it open. So. When in doubt, use your teeth. There we go, we're open. A tiny little chain there. Wrap it on. Which way does he go? Which way does he go? Try him on like that. Just do that. Down a sec. Just get this. What way are we cutting? It'll be cutting back on it. Yes, yeah, so that's the correct way. So, and then hook it on. Assume we're just hooking it straight onto the gear there. Right, so loosen this a bit, just to make sure it can fit. Right, 
destroy that. Put it on there. Oh, it's fiddly. It's one of those things you could do with another set of hands, probably. So obviously now we've got to tighten it in the right way. No. There we go. You can see it's starting to tighten now. slotted in correctly before I carry on. There we go, that's better. Not a lot of tightening to go. So yeah, basically just tightening that up there for the minute. Trying to keep it all together as well. Be good. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to be cheapy plastic, but for 12 quid, it does seem a little bit better than what I thought I was going to get. All right, we're pretty good there now, I believe. Maybe a tiny bit more. Well, I'll leave that now for the minute. Tighten that up again in a sec, I imagine. So what's next? Uh, oh, adjust the chain. Fair enough. Uh... Remove the screws from the machine with the screwdriver. Right, well, apparently you're supposed to have this guard here and they did not send it, which isn't ideal really, but okay. Uh, so yeah, basically I think we just put this back on and put this one back on. Where's this one go to? I assume that goes on there somewhere. Yeah, I think it does. So yeah, just put this back on. And we can still tighten the chain if we need to. Let's tighten this one up. It's fairly tight. And we can put this one on here, but it doesn't doesn't tell us to put it on there. So not very good instructions. Good, they give you somewhat of a guard, I suppose. Going into anything? Nope. Oh. Okay, you can see now what I'm doing. There we go. Got him. Boom. And there we have it, our little chainsaw. How cool is that? For 12 quid, I think that's pretty incredible. Uh, right, well, there's no safety switch, so I assume you will put the battery in a second, just pull the trigger. But looking at that, say if you have a tool bag and you put your battery you say you keep a battery in it and all of a sudden it catches on something on the bag it's going to turn the chainsaw on so not very safe Yet again but let's see let's see if it just fits a standard battery if i've got to do anything to it oh no fits pretty well a bit snug but i assume that will loosen over time right 
So let's give it a whirl, shall we? Here goes nothing. And there we have it. We've made our little uh, mini chainsaw. Overall thoughts is it's not the safest thing in the world yet again. I mean, I mean you could have your, it looks like a bit of a finger catcher there, what have you. But yeah, like I said, if you keep your battery in and say you put this in a tool bag and all of a sudden, it, you know, it just does that. It's not very good, is it? But yeah, apart from that, it seems to be pretty good for 12 quid. I think this is going to be an ideal little tool. I'm interested to see how well it works. So I'll set up some timbers and we'll give that a go. Also, I don't see anywhere to put any oil for the chain. So I assume you could just, you just have to put a few dabs of oil on it every now and then to keep it oiled. But yeah, anyway, I'm very happy with this. So I'm looking forward to trying it out and see how well it works, to be honest. I'm assuming it's going to work pretty well. But yeah, I'll go set some logs up, some small branches or something, and we'll give this a whirl and see how well it does. So back in a sec. Okay, guys, we're back. We've got two uh, logs set up. We're going to try and cut and see how well this little chainsaw does. I'm going to start off with this smaller one. It's uh, softer wood as well, so we'll see how well it does on that. If it does that pretty easily, we'll go straight on to the bigger one and see how well it does. Got some safety goggles there as well, just to be safe. So let's have a go and see how well it does. These on. Also, we've got four bars of battery, so it'll be interesting to see how quickly it kills the battery and what have you. Take that one off and out. We'll start with this one. Should take a little bit off. See how well it goes. That went through pretty easy. The wood is very, very soft though. But god, effortless really. Didn't pull at all. So done that one. Try this one. Sure. Yeah, it's just about to go through. So take just about a couple of inches off again. See how well he does. <laughs> Boom. He's through. Well, it's pretty effortless to be honest. Worked really well. Still got four bars of battery. Still seems to be working fine. Do another cut on this. Just want to get this end cut off as well. Yeah. So that works pretty damn well, to be honest. It wasn't too bad to hold, handle, felt all right. It's quite lightweight as well, this, which is quite nice. Uh, like I said before, it could do with some sort of uh, safety trigger, because it's literally that. It could do with, like, you know, most tools, you press a button and then it goes. So like I said, if you've got this just laying around, say, you can fall, hit, turn on sort of thing. So that is an ideal. Also, it could probably do with another, like adding the picture, a safety rail up here. Just for a bit of extra safety, really. Apart from that, I'd say it's a really good tool. I'd recommend getting it if you just want to cut a few branches off on your trees in your garden. Or it might come in handy at work. I might give it a go at work every now and then. Demolition, it'll probably come in handy. But yeah, be safe when you use it. Wear eye protection. Obviously, take the battery out when you're not using it, so that trigger. But yeah, apart from that, I'd say it's a pretty good tool for 12 quid. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good little tool, or do you think it's a bit useless, not worth the money? I'm interested to know. Please let me know in the comments your opinion on this. 
but yeah anyway thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video please leave a like as always we've got plenty of other videos on the channel if you like this one i suggest watching the um what's it the chainsaw attachment for the angle grinder that was also quite a good little chainsaw adaption thing i'd recommend watching that uh, if you haven't already as well remember to subscribe to the channel because we've always got plenty of tool videos on there gonna have a few more coming up as well so it'd be interesting to see how those go and i'm sure you guys will like them too anyway yeah thanks for watching and hopefully i'll see you in one of my future videos bye for now